Hey there everybody, I hope you're having a really good day. I wanted to show you what I've been doing in the morning. You guys know that I've been watching the Diane Anton videos and just really, really, really enjoying them. I'll put a link, of course, in the description box to some of uh, my favorite videos that she is doing. Actually, I really can't do that because they're all my favorites. They're all my favorites. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at um, I'm looking at her body of work, and I'm just going, wow, wow, wow. You know, this this is this is it, man. I am so happy because I had gotten really um, I had really kind of gotten in a funk with with art stuff. So I'm very happy that uh, the universe dropped Diane into my feed and lo and behold I am in, uh, having a terrific time doing some watercolors. So I think that Angela, Angela did you send me this book? I think you did. Um, it's it's like it's sewn on a on a sewing machine. It's really a super cool book. So I'm just going to show you like where I was starting. Now this was um, March the 11th uh, that I did this little sketch and I started watercolory and then on March 12th I did another uh, I, I like to call these long neck girls I really do like that style it's easy for me to do I did not do any sort of watercolor or anything on her and then uh, ta -ta -da. So, this is what I did on the 7th, which was yesterday. Uh, another great Diane video. I'll put a link in the description box below so you can check it out. The cool thing is, y'all, I am doing this downstairs on my little lap desk with a very limited palette. This is 12 colors. You guys might recall that I swatched out this little palette a while back because I could not tell what the colors were. So I did a little swatch right here, and this has been like super helpful. If you ever have a palette where you're just really uncertain of the colors, swatching is, swatching is not only uh, fun and entertaining, it is good for your soul. Uh, my friend Leanne, over at Creatively Free To Be Me, I uh, was like obsessed with just watching her swatch her <laughs> watch her colors her acrylics or whatever it was she was using or her pens or anything like that so this I did downstairs with a water color uh, with a water brush I highly recommend these now this is a Derwent this is a number one I have had this for um, probably five years I've had it for a super long time basically all I have downstairs is the palette this swatch, this book, this brush, uh, a pencil in case I need it, which I have not needed it, and a, a white Posca pen and a black Posca pen. I wanted to show you what uh, I did this morning. So, oh, I did that yesterday morning, y'all. This is what Diane calls an all-over painting. So, it starts with a couple of big things and then you add you add to it so it's an all over the page painting and this process can go on and on and on and on I, you know you 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 um put these blobs on on paper and I can take white pen or I can take a uh, black pen and I do these embellishments on them and they just turn out really super cool. This one uh, has black Posca pen on it. You can see that these are poppies. Uh, these are poppies that will bloom. Somebody looked at this and Diane pointed this out too. There are no leaves on these on these poppies. Now Diane did something like this and she didn't put leaves on her poppies and I thought they were grand so I didn't put leaves on my poppies either. I really love the way that this flows. I love the cleanliness of it. It It is, uh, you know, there's no background here. Just really love Diane's process. I did this yesterday as well with the intention of going back with my Posca marker and making some marks on it you know making some embellishments but I got really busy yesterday and just did not get that done this morning I did this 
uh, again with, you know, thinking that I would get it all embellished and done, and I just didn't. So what I thought we would do, y'all, is just kind of sit here and put together something like this, and then I'll come back in a future video, and we will embellish it just being super simple, you know, just using that black Posca and a white Posca, and that is it. I think what I am falling in love with, uh, this is four and three quarters by... Uh, about six and three quarters. I love the size of this book. I also love the quality of the paper. It's really great. I don't even know if it's watercolor paper. It is a heavy base paper and I'm really, really enjoying creating on this paper. Um, I forgot what I was talking about. Um, I forgot. All right, so what we're gonna do is just sit here very simply, and this is my last page. I've gotta to put together another book. Hey, we could put together a watercolor journal. That would be fun, wouldn't it? We haven't put together a journal in a long time. All right, so we've got just this basic palette. And what I do when I'm downstairs is I kind of just put this, you know, up here somewhere. I have a lap desk, and I love, love, love that thing because it uh, there's something about being at a desk that makes you um, uh, I don't know what it is it, oh, I know what it is it centers you so if you're at uh, your desk desk you feel a bit centered if you are at a lap desk you know just one of those little dot desks that you put uh, that you put on your lap to to create a pun it really does create uh, a very centering experience so let's just get started and all we're going to do y'all is just put some blobs down on this piece of paper and i'll kind of show you how i've been doing it but i highly recommend you uh you watch diane do it the uh the derwent water brush is super easy to use we just kind of squeeze a little bit of water in the palette and we're just going to start with blobs so you know, it doesn't really matter what you do with it to me that kind of looks more like a flower than a blob but that's okay we're going to make them into flowers but they're going to be stylized flowers they aren't traditional flowers and i learned this from watching diane uh, a couple weeks ago she says this sort of art is uh, this sort of watercolor is called modern watercolor and I think that um, I think I'm more of a, a not traditional watercolor as my friend Catherine is oh my gosh I, I, I told her the other day that I could absolutely fall into her watercolors she just does these remarkable watercolors you saw me kind of tap this brush off you don't really have to do that this is such an easy palette here. The colors are super rich. I don't, uh, I'm not fussed about polluting the palette. I'm going to squeeze out a little more water here so you can see what happens. You know, you just get like this glorious shading, varieties of color varieties of texture even as the brush kind of plays along with this super grand paper all right and I think we'll put one right here and one right here now we got some orange on our brush so let's just kind of give this give the give these little blobs a, a little something in the middle and then that way, um, that way they kind of start to look like flowers. I have some orange on my brush. I think while I have a little bit of orange on my brush, I'm going to go for this really pretty uh, red down here. It's, it's a purple red, y'all. I don't know what that's called. And, you know, we'll just do, do some more. Again, kind of just squeeze the brush and you'll get the hang of it. When I was doing watercolor um, several years ago, I 
Okay, so you see how that is like really turning into a flower. So I'm not going to blob this one out. I'm just going to leave it like it is. I did not know that was going to happen. Magic. I, you know, <laughs> it's like you're, you think you're going to put a blob and then it was like, oh my gosh, that can be a flower. They're all going to be flowers, but not, not like, not like traditional flowers. I accidentally picked up some black. Uh, let's do, I'm looking at the balance here, and that's another thing that Diane talks about, y'all, is your composition. But when she chats about it, you know, you don't feel, when she uses the word uh, composition, you don't feel, you, you don't feel like, well, that's a confusing concept, because she has such great ways of explaining uh, you know, her, she's, she's obviously a trained artist, but she's also super relaxed and super nice, and I just can't say enough, enough about her. Uh, I'm going to pick up a little bit of this. I'm not sure what, what that color is, but I, I really do love it, and I think it's probably a good combination to, to kind of look at now, and, you know, let's go ahead and just put something down. This, it's a very freeing sort of technique. If putting blobs on paper can be called a technique, and I think it can. I don't think Diane would fault me for calling them blobs. They're beautiful blobs. All right, I, I have some of this on my brush. I think I'm going to go back and um, I'm just kind of squeeze. Let's see if I can get a little. Ooh, that's that's a wee too much. It's okay. I'll just soak that up. Maybe put in a little center right here to make it sort of come together uh, right there. I'm going to do one more, and what we'll do is I'll come back tomorrow. And I'll start filling this in because it's time to get the dog supper and uh, it's kind of late in the day. And I want to go outside and enjoy the, uh, the awesome pond that Chris has created for us. It is so pretty. We did add some plants. I mean, he did all this himself absolutely remarkable. I thought maybe I was going to use this red again, but now I'm thinking, I think I might just pick up some blue and maybe um, let's do something right here. I really got that super wet. But, you know, that's okay. No, it's not. <laughs> I got it too wet. <laughs> I'm also, I'm keeping my, I'm keeping my uh, paint rags because they're really turning out pretty and I think I, I have them hanging on my little baker's rack on the deck and I'm thinking, hmm, you know, I might be able to uh, do a little collage with that or something because the colors are so intriguing. Okay. Now I've got purple going down here, so I do need to maybe add, like, just a leaf up here. Maybe a leaf over here. Again, thinking about, you know, considering the composition of the piece, I want to, I'm going to add some leaves down here as well. So kind of get my brush squeezed out a little bit and I think I'll put a leaf over here maybe one right here I'm gonna put maybe a stem right there and right here just something kind of delicate um so I've got the purple kind of got that in there let's do a little bit of Orangey. Well, this is red, but that's okay. Leaves aren't red. Yes, they are. 
pure imagination says that leaves are red. Go for it. All right. I am going to stop right here. We'll come back tomorrow and we'll add a little bit and then we'll do some embellishing. I just kind of really wanted to show y'all what I'm up to right now and I want to encourage you to pick up a brush and I mean paints they sell paints at the dollar 25 tree. Pick up some paints, pick up a little cheap brush, paper, you know, use what you have, use what you have. You guys have heard me say that for, what, seven years now? Use what you have and just create yourself some happy. I can tell you I am painting myself happy. You'll feel cheerful. You'll feel accomplished. You'll just feel good. I can't explain it. It's awesome and I'm having a great time. All right, all right. You do it too, okay? Play along. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.